Hey there, drone fans. Today I'd like to show you the DJI Power 500 Portable Power Station. This portable energy source provides plenty of power for charging and operating all of your thirsty portable devices whenever you're away from home, especially if you're charging drone batteries. Now, before I get into all the cool features this product provides, I thought I'd start off with a basic understanding of the specifications, and that way you can compare it to other units you may be considering. So the Power 500 has 512 watt hours of internal energy that can provide up to 1,000 watts of external charging and operating capabilities, which is a lot of power for a unit that weighs just about 13 pounds. Now, when you're looking for a portable power station, it's important to think about what you're going to use it for to make sure you get the right size unit. This I would put into the smaller to mid-size category, which makes it great for like camping trips or long road trips, or if you've got work to do around the house in the backyard, you can plug a drill into it or a saw into it and get that work done without dragging an extension cord all the way to your backyard. The best thing it does though, is allow you to charge your portable devices when you're out in the field. So you can use it to charge phones and tablets and camera batteries and drone batteries. You can run lights on it. You can plug a cooler into it. So anything you're using at home that you plug into a wall or plug into a USB charger, you can plug into this unit. And again, you can operate those devices and you can charge those devices in the field. Now it's got a lot of special features built in that I'll explain next. The first thing you want to be careful about when you're looking at a portable power station is you want to make sure that it's easy to charge. What DJI did with this unit is they built the charging circuit that's required to turn the AC from your home into DC to charge the unit into the unit. So it's an internal charging circuit. A lot of other portable power stations on the market use an external brick which converts that AC to DC to charge the unit and they can take hours to fill up. With this one, you can plug it into a wall outlet and within 70 minutes, the unit is fully charged. And if you think about that, if you forgot to charge it the night before you're leaving for your vacation, you could essentially plug this into the wall, go get a cup of coffee, finish packing, and by the time you're done, it'll be fully charged. Another big feature is that the unit provides power through charging, which means once you plug this into the wall, all of the outlets on the front become active. So you can plug this in, plug in your phone, plug in your tablet, plug in something else on the AC ports, and you can charge those devices while you're charging the internal battery. And that 70 minutes of charging time is incredibly quick. A lot of other portable power stations with this capacity could take three or four hours to charge. And if you forgot to charge them the night before, that's gonna delay your vacation. So I like the fact that I can charge it quickly. You can also get an adapter to charge it from your car. You can get another adapter to charge it from a solar panel. So a lot of different ways to add energy to the internal batteries. Now, once those batteries are charged, how can you use that stored energy to operate and charge external devices? Well, let's start with the AC. There are two three-pronged full-sized AC ports on the front of the unit that can deliver up to 1,000 watts of power. Now, 500 watts is pretty standard for a run rate but it has a surge protection built in that allows you to draw up to 1,000 watts when you're plugging things in like drills or blenders or a compressor like a cooler. That's important because a lot of other portable power stations on the market have a hard limit on how much power they can provide. And if you plug a drill in and you try to drill into something really tough, you're gonna to draw extra current and those other power stations may not be able to handle that. With this one, you can draw up to 1,000 watts and you're gonna be just fine. That AC output is also pure sine wave, which is really important if you're plugging in any kind of sensitive electronics. They don't like the modified sine wave you'll find on a lot of their portable power stations. So knowing you've got pure power coming out that's pure sine wave, you've got up to 1,000 watts, means you can plug pretty much anything into it that you plug in at home and you're going to be just fine. Also, you're going to find four USB ports on the front of it. Two of those are the older style USB-A ports. Both of those provide 24 watts of charging power, which is pretty much the highest you can get from any USB charger you own. You'll also find two full-sized USB-C ports on the front, and both of those USB-C ports can deliver 100 watts of charging power individually which means you can plug big things into those USB-C ports, things like large tablets, laptops, portable gaming systems, drone batteries. So 100 watts is almost unheard of in portable power stations over USB-C. Most other portable power stations, 30 watts, 45 watts, 60 watts maybe, 100 watts means you've got plenty of power to directly charge your laptop off of this portable power station. 
The other thing about the ports are that the USB-C ports are also PD or power delivery, which means they're smart ports. So if you've got a fast charging device like drone batteries and you plug those into PD ports, the ports individually are gonna look at the device you've plugged in. They're gonna determine what kind of charge it has, what kind of current it needs to charge it. And the power station is actually gonna vary its voltage and current to quickly and safely charge that device. So you can charge a lot of external devices like tablet, game consoles, phones, faster than you would in other portable power stations that don't have that PD capability. The other thing they've built into this, which is a really unique feature, it's the only power station in the market I've seen with this port, is right here. It's a software-defined charging port. Now what that means is the port is intelligent. So when you plug in an accessory, it looks at the accessory you've plugged in, and it makes a determination of what kind of power it should deliver to that accessory, and it can vary the voltage and current to quickly and safely charge those external devices. Now, if you're a drone flyer, that's extremely important because the Mavic 3 batteries and the Air 3 batteries, you can charge those over USB-C either directly in the drone or through a hub, but you can also get an adapter like this from DJI that plugs into that software-defined port You'll plug the battery into this, and normally if you charge this over USB-C, it might take you an hour, an hour and a half to charge the battery. You can charge this battery through that software-defined charging port in about 35 minutes. So it cuts that down to a third of the charging time. And if you're out flying for an afternoon of fun, you can have two batteries with you. You're flying with one, you're charging the other one. When you land the drone after 40 minutes of flight, you can pop this battery out, slide it in the drone, take that battery, put it in the charger, and you can continuously charge your batteries while you're flying, which is pretty incredible. There's also an adapter available for the Air 3. This ad adapter right here, again, plugs into the software-defined port plugs into the battery, and you're good to go. So they've built some pretty cool accessories for your drone batteries. They also make accessories, like I'd mentioned, that you can use the software-defined uh, charging port as an input port, so I can connect it up to a solar panel. I can use it in my car. They have an adapter for the car that you plug into your cigarette lighter, and you can charge it off your car. So there's a lot of different ways you can use this product out in the field, and I like the fact that they didn't include all of these adapters in the unit, because I'm using it primarily to charge my drone batteries, maybe my phone and my tablet. I don't need the edit cost of all those adapters that I'll never use. So this way, I have the basic unit, I have an AC cord that comes with it, I can charge it at home. For me, I'm charging both of these drone batteries, so I picked up these two accessories. I also picked up the DC charging cord because I like to charge it in my car between locations. But it's up to you what accessories you decide to add. They're very low cost, and that way you're not carrying extra stuff around that you don't need. So I think what DJI has done with this unit is pretty incredible because that software to pine port on the front really is something that nobody else has thought about yet. It's really unique in the space. And again, if you're a drone flyer, being able to take the energy in that battery and deliver it to these batteries safely externally, DC to DC, really speeds up that charging cycle considerably. One other major advantage that DJI has built into this product is they've made it quiet. A lot of other portable power stations on the market, when you start drawing a lot of current out of them, a cooling fan will come on, and I'm telling you, it sounds like a helicopter's landing in your backyard with those other portable power stations. So if you're using it in your home at night, maybe you're using a CPAP machine or you've lost power, you don't want to be listening to that fan running all night. With this one, it's whisper quiet. Matter of fact, it's so quiet, it's about the same sound level as rustling leaves. So when you plug this in, you start using it, you'll even forget it's there, it's just that quiet. So all those things being equal, Again, 512 watt hours of internal energy, 13 pounds, incredibly portable. A lot of different ways that I can use that stored power. I can charge it at home in about 70 minutes. It's really a unique unit in the marketplace. Again, especially if you're flying the Mavic 3 or the Air 3 drone. And that's pretty much all I had for today. So hopefully you found this review helpful. Thanks an awful lot for watching.